Hi, my name is Dr. Spickle, functional podiatrist and advisor for StepStrong. I want to speak to you about plantar fasciitis. What is it? What are some of the most common symptoms, causes, and how do we start to treat this condition? Plantar fasciitis is one of the most common conditions treated by a podiatrist. In fact, over 2 million adults in the United States will experience heel pain every single year. Now, plantar fasciitis is going to be inflammation or irritation at the origin or the insertion of the plantar fascia tissue. Your plantar fascia is a thick band of connective tissue that runs from your heel across your arch. We are going to see that it's at the base of the heel, runs as three thick bands of tissue, and splits into five slips that insert into the base of each toe. We use our plantar fascia when we stand, walk, and do dynamic movement. It is part of how we maintain posture. It is how we transfer energy when we dynamically move. Any sort of overuse or excess stress to this tissue can start to create a micro tearing and a repair process in that plantar fascia tissue, which is experienced as plantar fasciitis. Now, some of the most common symptoms of plantar fasciitis is, of course, sharp pain in the heel. Typically, this is experienced first step in the morning or after a period of rest. That's called post-static dyskinesia. Sometimes patients will see a little bit of swelling on the inside of the foot, and then others will start to experience compensation pain on the outside of the foot, and that's because they're changing the way that they're walking to try to avoid the inside of that heel. Now, some of the most common causes of plantar fasciitis is going to be excessive standing, excessive running, or other dynamic movement that is overloading and stressing the plantar fascia. Sometimes it could be related to foot type. If you have an overly unstable, overpronated foot, or on the other side, an overly rigid or supinated foot. Sometimes we can see it from improper footwear, improper foot strength, and sometimes it can even be from an acute injury where you slap your heel down hard and you get this sudden impact and that can start to create stress to the plantar fascia tissue as well. Now, when we start to approach the treatment, the way that I approach treatment for my patients is based off of four main principles. That first principle is going to be removing whatever the stressor is. If it is because of running, jumping, dynamic movement, I need you to stop doing that, especially for this first two week period. Second component is going to be looking at the inflammation in that inflammatory cycle. You could do icing, oral anti-inflammatories, systemic enzymes such as StepStrong. Systemic enzymes are particularly effective with plantar fasciitis because they support the body's natural immune response and how it regulates inflammation. The third component is going to be something supportive. Do we need to look at different taping techniques? Maybe art supports, even temporarily using art supports and more supportive shoes. And then the fourth component is going to be doing something from a soft tissue release. I do try to avoid stretching the plantar fascia in the calves. I would much rather have you doing massage or myofascial release. This can be done on a golf ball, lacrosse ball, neuro ball, where you're releasing the bottom of the foot and the back of the ankle into those calves. There is a strong association between limited ankle mobility type calves and plantar fasciitis. So again, our four steps is you want to release, release or remove the stressor to the plantar fascia. You want to do something from the inflammatory process. You want to bring some sort of support if that is needed. And then we want to do some sort of mobilization or myofascial release. We're starting with these four components. I do recommend that you do these techniques every single day for at least two weeks. After two weeks, if you are not getting an improvement in your symptoms, then I recommend seeing your local podiatrist. If you are looking to learn more about foot health or the power of systemic enzymes, please do check out stepstrong.com. To learn more about how I approach patients, please visit dremilysplickle.com.